good morning. It's so nice to be with you all and to be able to worship together with you. There's a verse in the Bible that I love and it says, Bless the Lord, all my soul. My, let his praise be constantly on my lips. I don't know about you, but this week I'm not sure that I can say for certain that God's praise has been constantly on my lips. But what I'd like to encourage you with this morning is that with God, there is always a reset button. We can always start again. And even if perhaps this week has been hard, perhaps it's been full of distractions, lots of other things, perhaps you've just been enjoying yourself and you've perhaps not had um, an awful lot of time where you've just been aware of the presence of God. Actually, in God's graciousness, in his goodness and his mercy, his presence is here right now for us, with us. His presence is here in your home, in my home, and we can worship God together, that his praise can be constantly on our lips from this moment forward, even if from yesterday it hasn't been. So I'd like to encourage you this morning just to, to take advantage of these next few moments where we can sing together, where we can worship God. One of the things I'm really missing about the fact that we're not worshipping in the same place at the same time is hearing everyone sing together. But I'm reminded this morning that actually we join with the whole of creation that is constantly singing praise to God, that we join in with the whole of heaven who is constantly worshipping and bowing down before our amazing, holy, almighty God. So even if we can't hear each other, we join together with everything that exists on earth and in heaven and we worship him and we praise him because he is great.
It's the Lord and most worthy of our praise. The city of our God, the holy place. The joy of the whole world. Grace. It's the now and encourage you just to think about this last week. Think about the goodness of God, where you've seen his faithfulness in your life, in your family, perhaps in your work, in little things, in big things, wherever it is, God is faithful. 
He has been with us through every storm, through every joy, every new thing, everything that's just normal and just the everyday. He is with us and he has been with us. Let's just take a moment to acknowledge it, to remember it, and to thank God for his presence with us in every moment. with us Lord in the darkest valley and in the joys we thank you Lord that this week you've been with each one of us Lord that even though we've had to socially distance from each other I thank you that you are not distant Father that even if we've not spent time with you even if we've not been aware of your presence that you have been with us we thank you Father for your goodness for your faithfulness that you are a great God even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death your perfect love is casting out fear and even when I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life I won't turn back I know you are
morning, you just need to hear that and hold on to that. That he will never, ever let you go. Whatever you're facing, whatever you've got to do this coming week, maybe you're worried about the coronavirus and how it's going to be, about going back to school, about going back to work. Maybe there's other circumstances that just now you need to know with assurance that God is going to be with you, that his presence will carry you. Just know that he is good. That he will hold you. That even now his arms are open wide and he's holding you in his hand. Yeah.